hello friends welcome to FreeCAD tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to do pulley with bracket assembly using the assembly 4 workbench as you can see that this assembly I have did using the A2 plus workbench and now we will do the same assembly using the assembly 4 workbench if you visit my channel I have already here uploaded a video that belt and roller support assembly with the help of A2 plus workbench so for this tutorial I have uh, used the same assembly so that it will be easy to recall those who have uh, watched my this video and second this is a very simple assembly so it will be very easy to understand the core concept of the AJ assembly for workbench so here I have a took a screenshot of my pulley and bracket assembly so we will insert this one by one part and this fasteners in assembly 4 so let's start so I will close this file and I will create a new file and I will activate my assembly 4 if uh, you have not installed the assembly 4 then go to the tools and add-on manager and search here for assembly 4 and install and restart your FreeCAD so I have already did it and it is a very common process so I will close it now once you activate the assembly 4 workbench then you will get some tools or here of assembly 4 like a new model part body ear fasteners and most of the tools which are not active because our assembly is a blank so first thing we will do is we will save our assembly so i will give is pulley with bracket assembly underscore assembly for workbench and I will save it now first we will create a container so basically this model is a container now we will insert our part so once you create on import part then you will get such type of a dialog box so before inserting the part first we will open our part that is the base the first part which I wanna to insert so first I will individually open it which is a base here and now I will switch to the assembly 4 and I click on import part so you can see that part 1 base body so I will give your name base underscore 0 1 like that I will give the name and I will say insert so you can see that it is asking about selected link is a base underscore one which is given our name with attached to please select parent assembly so you can see that part one base body select LCS in the part okay so first we will cancel it now we will go to our base part and insert a LCS so we will select the body I mean we will create a new coordinate system LCS1 and we will just say ok and we will build it now we will go to the assembly create on our base body and select on edit placement of the part now we will select parent assembly so this LCS1 which is here we will select LCS of origin 
and say OK. So anytime you want to edit it means this LCS is aligned with the parent assembly. The parent assembly is a pulley with bracket assembly. Now the next part is a bracket which is part 2. So I will open and bracket. So before inserting the bracket we will okay first we will open the bracket and now we see that these two holes will be mount on this one so we will select this edge and uh, go to the new hole axis this hole axis one and uh, we will select this one hole axis in fact uh, this bracket will be one assembled here one assembled here so what we will do we will insert all four axes here because we will require it so I will create a new hole axis I will create a new hole axis now in bracket also we will insert here uh, axis and here axis now we will come to our assembly and now here we will click on import part and we want to insert bracket so I will give a name bracket underscore zero one and I will say insert so you can see that the bracket has been inserted here but to which I want to assign my this bracket so I wanted to assign with the base so I will select the base so once you once I selected the base it will show all the axis four axis which I have inserted for here one two three four so I will select this whole axis one aligned with a whole axis one right or I can see this whole axis 2 aligns with whole axis 1 now we will move to here and rotate our part let's see ok so I have a rotated Z plus 90 now we will switch to the front view now we will see our coordinate system here it is a Z so I will move to the Z here so this is a 10 mm right now I will say ok so now our bracket axis has been assembled with our base now we will insert our next bracket on this side so create import and create a bracket so bracket underscore zero one underscore two because it's a second bracket so so here you can see that bracket has been inserted now select the part you want to attach so I will select it with base 01 now here I will select this whole axis 2 and whole axis 1 no uh, I will insert with the, uh, select with the whole axis 3 not with whole axis 4 ok now uh, I will move it now I will switch to the front view now I will move it to Z10mm ok so it has been perfectly assembled now I will say ok
so here if you see we have a symbol base then bracket first bracket then second bracket then we'll insert the bush so before inserting we will uh, open our bush and we will insert the axis here so new whole axis now we will move to our assembly 4 and we will click here insert insert push open so I will say bush underscore zero one and I will say insert so you can see that bush has been inserted here now I will go to the transform and I will move my bush here So I will go to my bush here and create here also a whole axis. So this is whole axis 1, this is whole axis 2. So you can insert as many as axes you want. Now we will go to our bracket 1 and we will insert a whole axis here say whole axis now move to the assembly now you can see that whole axis is visible now we will select our bush and uh, go for placement so I wanted to make it with bracket 2 which is this one whole axis 2 with uh, whole axis 3 here so you can see that uh, it has been placed now if you want then you can move it with the help of jet translation okay so this is has been placed now why the gist this z you might confuse because you can see that our uh, assembly UCS Z direction is perpendicular but when I am moving you can see that the Z direct translation is this one means it is moving with respect to our assembly X the problem uh, the idea behind it is that this this Z axis is this one this axis because if we rotate our part then this is the Z that's why so I will say okay so I will cancel it okay so this Z axis with respect to the part so while assembling while uh, uh, as, uh, moving the part its position we have to consider this XYZ coordinate of the part not the UCS of the assembly so that is the idea I will say ok now we will insert our one more bush so say insert say bush I would say bush underscore zero two this is second bush I will say two you can give any name now I will say okay now I will go to the transform and 
so this green one is a z x and y so it is like that now I will select my bush 2 and I will go for the placement and now here on bracket 1 I have to insert my UCS so I will cancel it so this is the bracket 1 now here is already axis is here so no problem I will go for the push and uh, and I will go for the assembly 4 so bush and its placement and here I wanted to assemble with bracket 1 this one so whole axis 2 with uh, whole axis 3 so this has been placed and I will say ok now we will go for the next part so we have also assembled this bush now we will go for the pin so first I will open it individually so I will say pin here now for the reference I will open my A2 plus so I will first measure the dimension here this face to this face by going to the part workbench here and I will measure so it is a 2.01 mm outside of this uh, this surface I will close it so basically I require the UCS here I will switch to the assembly 4 I will I have already selected this edge so I will say new whole axis I would say new whole axis now I will move to the assembly 4 now I will say insert part open pin ok and here I will say pin pin underscore 0 1 and I will insert now here I will select to whom I wanted to assemble so here I will insert my pin with respect to the bracket 0 1 which is this one and here I will go for but here I the pin is not visible to me so better I will transform it and I will move and now I will select pin and go for the placement I will select the part I want to make with bracket 1 so I will select bracket 1 ok so here I will select whole axis 2 so at the outside I have to insert axis so I will go for my bracket 1 so here I can activate my part and I will select on this edge switch to the assembly 4 and I will insert a new whole axis here ok now I will refresh my part now I will go for the placement here the whole axis 4 which I have selected means whole axis 2 of the pin with the whole axis 4 of the bracket now we will go for the jet translation and 
we will make it 2.01 with the dimension we have measured and say ok so our pin has been inserted here now the next we will go for roller here so first we will ins open our roller so for this roller I will insert the two axes one here and one here refresh it and then I will go for insert and I will open the roller will say ok will cancel it and I will open roller say open now I will give name is uh, roller underscore zero one and I will say insert white is not inserting ok so first select and give the name roller underscore zero one and say insert ok roller has been inserted so first I will move my roller so here I have inserted axis but we do not have axis here so we will go to our bush and we will insert the axis here so this is ax whole axis 3 now we will go to the assembly now I will refresh it and go for the roller and I wanna to attach with this bush this bush bush 2 and whole axis 2 with whole axis 3 right now I will say ok so this is the way to assemble the part using the assembly 4 and you can see that I have uh, assembled it with the help of assembly 4 as I have did with a A2 plus now I will save my part yes now I will go to the isometric view now here we will insert the fasteners so in assembly 4 you will get here the fasteners here but if you want you can use also this fasteners workbench but as I have a separate tutorial for this how to insert the fasteners in, in assembly if you go to my tutorials you can watch here insert fastener in a free cat assembly with the same assembly but we will use the default fasteners work uh, tools available in assembly 4 so we will see the fasteners which we have inserted so first I have inserted here a washer screw and nut so we will see that what type of a washer screw and nut I have inserted so for that uh, I will open my assembly 2 and we will see it so washer standard is ISO 7089 
so I will close my tab which is not required because too much number of a tab confused me so I will close the unnecessary tab unnecessary parts which is no more required for assembly save okay so ISO 7089 with M8 so here I will go for the washer so washer has been inserted here I will transform okay what if I select the edge and say for the insert washer so I will delete it now once you inserted the washer then you can change the standard so ISO 7089 diameter I want with the uh, if I go for my assembly 2 so I can see here M8 washer so I will select my washer here ISO 7089 now from here I will go for the M8 now for this washer I will go for I will select this washers edge and I will create a new whole axis there and now I will select this one and I will go for the placement with bracket 1 Okay, so you can see that washer has been inserted here I will say ok now after the washer I will go for the screw M8 by 35 here M8 by 35 and it is a ISO 4762 length 35 M8 So I will go for the insert to screw. So this is the M8 length. I will select here 35 and standard is ISO 4762 ISO 4762 now I will select my screw and I will go for the transform now I will select this edge and create a new whole axis select my screw go for the placement and uh, go for the bracket 1 not this one this one now let's see move it yes this is the position I want and I will say ok now we will insert the nut oh, I will press the space bar and hide it and I will go for the nut sorry I will delete it screw
insert not yes here now I will click on transform I will okay I will say isometric now I will select this edge and create a new whole axis here and I will refresh it select the nut and go for the placement and I will select here my bracket 1 not this whole axis yes here it is inserted now I will move to minus Z you can see here now so here is my nut now I will make its position yes this is the position I want my so more or less this is how to insert a fasteners here in a assembly 4 similar way you can as you can see that uh, I have uh, inserted a fastener in the same way in uh, assembly 4 so this way you can insert the fasteners to this hole this hole and other hole now I will save my assembly and I will switch for the isometric so this is how you can assemble this pulley and bracket assembly with the help of assembly 4 workbench I will provide this source file of this assembly in a video description or you can visit the video description of the insert fastener in assembly 4, four or here uh, build and roller support assembly you will get the source file link in the video description so this is all about this assembly 4 workbench it is a very basic assembly and in future I will choose some complex assembly to assemble with the assembly 4 workbench I hope you have liked this tutorial and if you like the tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel your small support will help this channel to grow I will come with more useful tutorial on a free CAD if you want to support my work then you can visit the video description where I have a coffee donations page your small support will help this channel to grow thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time